stated expressly that in the latter times, in the last days, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Wait, wait, wait. Doctrines of devils. Was that what you said, or is that what that just said? That's what the Bible said. Go ahead, repeat back from what I just heard from the top what you just said. Go ahead, from the top, what is the real meaning? Because that was actually great. Listen, what it says. Seducing, you know how you be seduced? Like a woman? Like a woman? No, no, no. Look, you see what they're doing, right? They're being seduced. Listen. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, the last days, some shall depart from the faith. No, depart from the faith. Like y'all honoring Halloween today, please. Right? Giving heed to seducing spirit. Heed to what? Seducing spirit. Halloween is a what? A seducing spirit. Seducing spirit, man. Representing right. Satan. Representing Satan. The devil, man. Read. And doctrines of devil. What? what? Doctrines of devil. Doctrines of devil. You don't tell me that Halloween represents the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it's not, you're not dealing with the doctrines of devils out of Halloween tonight? No, man. All you out there that's doing that. All this stuff about racial diversity. Read. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Lies in hypocrisy. But tell them what a lot of y'all gonna do tonight. Y'all y'all know all these these children, these people that's on the walls of Walmart. They're being sacrificed tonight. They're being sacrificed tonight. Because they've been seduced. People have been seduced by a devil. Look, man, you just came up on the on the scene, man. You look, it's gonna be alright, man. You gotta listen though. But you ain't you, look, you gotta just pay attention. Because all this gonna fit in. Because it, so listen, when these the doctors of devils have people being sacrificed tonight. You know that? Doctors of devils seduce experience, have them seduced to be able to take the children and burn them up. Sacrifice them. And the boy being robed and so forth. Listen, man. Like they come out here, I'm talking about okay, at, in the Bohemian okay, Grove, in different places where they sacrifice all these people that they never find. Wait. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. That's why I'm talking to you all night, and some of your, your conscience seared like a hot iron, man. You ain't gonna be moved. You're gonna continue to do the same wicked things that you've been doing all night long. You're gonna continue all night long honoring this wicked day. Come on. For Forbidding to marry. That's all I need on that. That's it, man. That's real. Over I think the last verse was. This is real talk, man. Where you at? Proverbs 12, verse 21. There shall no evil. There shall no evil happen to the just. But what it said? There shall no evil happen to the just. There shall no evil happen to who? To the just. So all you wicked people, you can expect evil to happen to you, man. But y'all following faith. What it say? Proverbs 12, verse 21. They shall no evil happen to the just. There shall no evil happen to the just, Rick. But the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Yeah, the wicked going to be filled with mischief like y'all are tonight. It's wicked. Y'all filled with mischief. I'm telling what y'all going to be doing tonight. Y'all going to be honoring Satan, right? That's what Halloween represents. Day of the devil. Read that again. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 21. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Hey, we're gonna be filled with mischief, man. Proverbs 16 and 4. So y'all filled with mischief, man. Doing things that you know is not right. And you like it. Because y'all rep represent the devil. Straight up. They represent the devil. Can't deny that. That's why y'all here happy. They done closed off the streets. They got the, they watching over you. <laughs> y'all got.
Got y'all costumes on. Okay, what? That's bad, man. That's bad, man. Supreme, where you at? Brothers, chapter 16, verse 4. The Most High has made all things for himself. The Most High made everything for himself, read. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. That's what we at now. We're in the day of evil. The Most High made everything for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So that's what they're doing. Why I can't criticize? Why I can't talk to our people to tell them to come out of wickedness and come into righteousness? What's wrong with that? Read it again. The Most High hath made all things for himself. He made everything for himself, man. Read. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. You gonna tell me this is a day of righteousness? This day is a day of righteousness? What I'm talking about right there. He said he made the wicked for this what day. I'm talking about that. Okay. That's what he said. That's why the most good revelation in 18 and 4. This is what he told the children of Israel. I asked our people, what's your nationality? What's your race? What you gonna tell me? I got 52 different identities of asking my brothers, what's your race, what's your nationality? 52 different identities. 52 different identities of who we are as a race. That's lost, man. That's destroyed. This is constructive criticism, brothers. That the most high make you true better. every man alive. Man. Bring you out of darkness into the light, man. Not knowing to get ready for what's going to go down. That the Lord has not spoken. Because they're not going to care nothing about us. Because you see they don't care nothing about your young brothers, man. Ain't nobody standing up for you against the evil doers. Who? You'll have no fight <laughs> in the carnal sense that you operate in. Uh-oh. Nah, man. I, I don't, I don't deal with it. Come on, don't you stand back, man. Stand back. Stand back. Read that again. No, this, I, don't, I, don't, I don't operate in this day, man. I hate this day. I, I don't care. I hate this day. You're Methodist, but you're walking around looking like uh, what I don't know what you're looking like. Who? Who? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's wickedness. That's, that's not right. How are you going to call yourself godly? That's what you can always say. And you walk around like that, looking like that. That's not right. Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16 and 4. What is that? The most high has made all things for himself. The most high made everything for himself. Read. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So. He made everything for himself. Yeah, who? The Most High hath made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. He made the wicked for the day of evil. So y'all the wicked, man. He made the wicked for this day of Halloween. Y'all can walk around and do the things you're doing in wickedness. It's not righteous. You cannot, you cannot show me how the day is righteous. It's not right, man. No way you can justify this. No way, shape, or form, man. Job 9:24. Job 9:24. See, the Most High, He loved us. But we don't love him as a people because you don't do what he say too. How, if you got a parent, if you, any of you had a parent, you had a daddy or a mama, right? The most high is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's his name forever and a memorial to all generations. That's who he is. If you don't know who Jacob is, then you ain't understand who the most high is. You don't understand who Israel is, you don't understand who the most high is. You the power of Israel. Please. John chapter 9 verse 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked the earth is given to the hand of the wicked Please. he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he if not where and who is he because the Mashiach Galashai he's a judge he's coming to judge and make war 
He told the 12 apostles they're going to sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Look at all the Hollywood movies. We're not there. And we the children of Israel. Can't nobody prove we're not. We the people of the book. But they put all these Edomites up there, the so-called white men, or white people in the movies. And that's a lie. Uh, that that's was, not the truth. That was the astral conspiracy theory yeah. there. Egyptology. Right. Yep. Yep. And it was taught as white so-called white men started that Egyptology stuff, man. You know, it wasn't us. Anything to keep us destroyed from knowing who we are as an Israelite. To take the name of Israel out of existence. The Hamites had all something to do with it and starting with the Edomites. Ishmaelites, Ammonites, Moabites, all these nations, man, had their hand in having you destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's me. Charles Darwin is the one that drew out our education system. Where you at? That's the reason they're teaching all these lies in the comments. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another heaven from voice saying. And I heard another voice from heaven saying. Come out of her, my people. Say, come out of her, my people. Man, come on, man. Don't be oh. the way I'm speaking stuff, man. Come on. Hey, man. Come on, man. God makes it through the way I feel. No, but you can say it right there. Do it. Hey, you know, God is, God is my music. Look, look, music man. is my God. Come on. Read it. Revelation 18.4 And I heard another voice from heaven saying Come out of her my people That ye be not partakers of her sins What did he tell us to do concerning Halloween? Read Come out of her my people That ye be not partakers of her sins You don't want to be partakers of your sins man. It's a sin Of you honoring the devil And Satan on his day of Halloween Read And that ye receive not of her plagues You're going to be plagued for doing this Read. For her sins have reached unto heaven. The most I say the sins of what you're doing is reached up to heaven. Read. And the most high hath remembered her iniquities. The most high to remember America's iniquity. And having the people follow a day and give a day, especially for the devil. And Satan. Halloween. And you know that's what it represents. Amos 9 and 8. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. So I want us to gather together. Who? Yeah, gather together, O oh, nation not desired. We are a nation that's not desired. Man. I got it, I got it here. To gather together, O oh, nation not desired. <laughs> we, before the decree bring forth. It's going to come a time when this decree going to come down, man, from the most high. You can't stop it. Can nobody stop this, man. Say, yeah, we got to gather ourselves together, man. Before the decree come about, man. Read. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before the day pass as what? As the chaff. You know, that chaff is that dried up weeds, man. The weeds that, the part that you burn up. That's why you want us to gather together. And we're a nation that nobody care about us, man. Who really care about us? Where's our seat in the United Nations? I mean, if they cared about us, we wouldn't have to be talking about reparation in 2015. We wouldn't have no million man marches and so forth. We are ready to be taken care of, man. We built this country on the sweat of our ancestors' backs, man, for free. For free. Wasn't nothing voted for to get this land. This land is stolen land, man. We're standing on stolen land. They didn't vote to get this land. Blood was shed to get this land. And when they got the land, they came and got, they took the indigenous people that was other land, off the land, and made them slaves. Then after they slaved for them, slaved them for so long, you need, you Negro and Indian and Latino the people, the same people. Then he came and got the Negro tribes from Africa. 
and scatter us all over, man. Working for free. Working for free. Free labor. Looking at the buildings and so forth. We the ones that's the builders that came back the true masons. The true builders. It's like, I'm on the build. And oh yeah, you ain't gonna build in the kingdom. They're gonna be building for you. That's what the Bible talking about. You got next, man. Your ancestors built treasure cities, man, that in Central America, but they didn't have a beautiful city in Central America here in America. The white man didn't have that until late 1800s, man, when they came here in 1492. They couldn't duplicate what they seen here. It was magnificent, beyond imagination. That's why he's telling us, man, me. Before the decree bring forth, Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together. Oh, nation not desire. We gotta gather ourselves together, man. We're a nation not desire. Okay. That's why we come out to tell our people, you the Israelites. You gotta gather yourself together, man. Back to the sheepfold. We're the 12 tribes of Israel. That's our nationality. Ready? Before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth, there's a decree that's gonna come on this earth, man. That's not gonna be nice. For those that don't come back to the laws of the Most High. Really? Before the day pass as a chance, before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. That sounds like a lot of love, man. He said, before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. Really? Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you. Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you. So I'm here to warn you. This ain't no criticizing. This is, this is constructive criticism. To bring you to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of our Heavenly Father, Most High. Hey. Seek ye the Most High. Seek ye the Most High, me. All ye meek of the earth. Nobody's more meeker than us, man. We the children of Israel. For all that we've been through, and we still haven't rose up and did anything, we the meek of the earth, man. All we've been through, a Negro, Indian, and Latino descent. You understand this, right? That's right, man. We the meek of the earth. You said white people, right? <laughs> you know? White people. <laughs> brother was saying, that's right, white people. I mean, that's, it's their world. Esau's the end of the world. Jacob's the beginning of that father. So he says, hey, we gotta come together because we the meek of the earth, right? Which have wrought his judgment. Which have what? Wrought his judgment. Psalm 147, 19 and 20. See, we have been given the judgment of the most high. The 12 tribes of Israel, who we are. No other nation can say they went through what we went through. What nation? Name it. None of them. That's right. <laughs> Which have robbed his judgment. Let's find out who robbed the most high judgment. Psalms 1, 47, 19, and 20. This happened to us, man. Psalms chapter 147. Verse 19, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. The only one that was judged by the Most High are we and you, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who you are. You're not no nigger, you ain't black, you ain't no color, you ain't none of that. You're the 12 tribes of Israel. You're the chosen people of the most high. None of that identifies your true race, huh? Your nationality. Everybody, I ask anybody out here with your nationality, bet they're gonna give something more so than what we gonna say. I got 52 different answers. Different answers. When I ask brother, what's your race? 52 different answers, man, that's sad. That's why we know we are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are.
Quite like it.